Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and comment below. Um, okay, so it's raining today. Our watering can is being upgraded today, right? It's going to be slightly breezy tomorrow. And it's a good luck day. Let's get our bearings here. We need to do some smeltage. We need to sell that. We need to go into town. Okay, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Dear neighbor, I hope you're feeling settled in your new home. I'm writing to let you know that Pierre's store is now selling fertilizers. Yeah, I don't I don't know that I want to buy fertilizer from you, Pierre. Uh, do we have any stuff that we need to harvest? Yes. But just rice. So not super exciting. Let's go you in there. And then I realized... Guys, I still did not even get to level 4 foraging. I didn't take the extra time yesterday to go and, you know, make sure that we pulled that off. Which is just dumb, because now I still am in a situation where uh, I kind of need to take time out of my day to go do... Uh, salmonberry gathering, but it's not going to be as fruitful. <laughs> no pun intended, but yes, there was. Um, because I don't get double the harvest yet. So, we definitely screwed that up. I don't think it's ultimately going to matter too much. Um, but it is something that if I had, you know, a do-over button, I'd go back to the 14th and spend a lot of time cutting trees. Now we've reached a point where it probably is like, we just kind of hope that we get there with the amount of foraging that we do today. Know what I'm saying, man? Do you get what I'm putting down? Uh, there's one up there. Oh, 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 there's one up here, too. Whoop. So at least we're finding more uh, bushes with berries today. What is going on here? Get out of there. I'm trapped. Yeah, we're finding a bunch more. Alright, let's go ahead and go down to... Uh, Clint's. Hey, buddy. Um. Better check the trash over here before Penny gets here. I have been busted by her when I'm digging through this trash numerous times because she sits right there and you just, like, don't see her. <laughs> And she's like, what are you doing? Get out of trash. Gross. <laughs> I'm still working on your coppering. Oh, man. I That was dumb. So, mental mistake. Let's go like this and put these in there so that hopefully I remember to do that next time. It's not the end of the world. But I would have liked to have been able to bust those. Oh, we got a reward. What could it be? What could it be? A big teddy bear. We'll go ahead and just bring it along. Alright. Now, I need to go mining. I don't know why I brought my scythe. Let's actually, while we're down here, check the beach for forageables. There should be a few... And we're going to be swinging back through the farm area anyhow. So I don't mind... Oh man, that was not very productive. I figured there would be more than that. But it's okay. Um, but what we're going to do is go check the forest. 
And then... Let's get rid of these. Holy moly. Okay. I think that does it. <gasps> Cutscene. Ugh, I always clean out of the cushions. It's your turn this week. You don't have to be childish, Haley. So, they're having an argument about, you know, household chores. And Haley's like, oh, it's that new farm boy. Emily's being the adult in the room. I bet you'll understand my point of view here. And I'm like, I don't know that I need to be getting in the middle of this. So, you can do that. You can do any of these. It really doesn't matter too much. It does help your friendship, I believe, with Haley if you select this one. Haley, why not have this be your one weekly job? <sighs> Once a week, I have to clean on the couch cushions. All right, you win. So, <laughs> Emily's going to clean the entire rest of the house. Now, Haley is now at too hard. Where is she? Oh, she's in bed. But it's too horrible to get out of bed. Okay. She doesn't like rainy days. Obviously. Hey, look, we got two out of that one. So we have leveled up, and it looks like it's already giving us the benefit of that increased skill is it gonna do it yep look at that I don't think it's supposed to do that um, but maybe it is yeah actually now that I think about it it really should do that it's the ones where like you have to select like at level 5 when I reach level 5 it gives me the choice of, you know, two, you know, perks or whatevs. Those, obviously, it doesn't make sense to just put in place, because you it requires your input. Let's go ahead and grab that. I just learned recently that you can actually pick those up by just uh, right-clicking on it and holding, it, holding down right-click. Or actually, if you have no tool in your hand and hold down left click, I think is what it is. It will eventually just pick it up. You know what? This is not going to be the most productive day. Let's just clean up down here. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and get those while we're at it. In fact, let's let's get organized here. There you go. Sometimes there's like a log or some or even a weed kind of hiding behind one of those shrubs. What is there? Uh-huh. See? There were some weeds hiding behind that tree. It's really helpful if you can do this exercise earlier than what I have, because all that happens if you don't do it is they just spread, and that's just more work for you when you finally get around to it. So, we're going to kind of get the bottom half as we go this way, and then we'll get... We'll get the top half when we go back. How's that sound? Any more weeds up there? I don't see any. Um, so yeah. I don't remember what I was talking about. Oh, stone? Where'd you come from, stone? I have not been as um, attentively looking for salmon berries throughout this little process, but it's okay. I think we got most of, if not all of them, so it's all good in the neighborhood. I kind of wanted to go mining today, 
but it's it's okay. See, like there was a log hiding right there. Somebody called me and left a message. It's early in the day. I'm trying to get this in before I kick off, you know, the bulk of my work day. It's one thing I like about my job is, you know, it's got work-life balance, basically. I can sort of, kind of make my own hours as long as I cover the eastern time zone for the most part. I do have some customers on central time, so there are times where I'll get a call late at night. Alright, I think that's all of those. I actually had a call the other day with a customer who has a team in China, and we had the call at 10 o'clock at night Eastern Time. <laughs> you talk about, like, better make sure you've got a reminder set for that one, because you're pretty much, like, checked out from your workday by that point. Not pretty much, you are. I was actually putting my kids to bed when the reminder popped up on my phone. It's like, oh, sorry kiddos, we're not going to finish this chapter. It's time for me to go do some work. Alright. Enough blabbering on. Let's get back to uh, doing some real work. Alright, so you guys can go in there. We'll do another piece of iron, I guess. And then go like that. And go like that. Go like that. Uh, let's put the chest in there. Where are we putting decorations? In there, I guess. Eh. Alright, we're up to 109 salmon berries. That's what I'm talking about. Let's check our uh, mushroom situation here. I think they end up in this chest. Yeah. We'll just double check the others just to make sure they're all empty. Uh, somebody did point out that you can use flooring to connect those things or whatever. I need to mess around with that and figure out exactly how that works. I'll get around to it eventually, but for now it's working the way it is intended, so we're not going to mess with it. Let's go ahead and get up to 10 of each of these things. So we can sell these or keep them to eat. I think I'm just going to sell them. I've got plenty of food right there. You know what I mean? Um... So we'll just finish sweeping the map for salmon berries and then head home and hey man wait didn't oh I was thinking there was a help wanted ad that he wanted something but I don't know why I was thinking that I love when she's out here playing in the rain watch this ready she's playing her music in the rain I think this is... This... Oh, rats! I can't talk to her? What's up with that? I feel like that's usually where you can interact with her, and... Okay, so like, see here? If I take the tool out, and then just... Well, oh, it's because it put these in there. So let's go like this. Boop. So you can do it without using any energy that way. Good to know, right? <laughs> it has to be empty, though. Hey. Well, it looks more interesting in the rain than you think. But anyway, I feel like there's a, a 
time where you can talk to her when she's doing that and she says something like hey you want to stand under this tree here with me or maybe that's Sebastian but if you cut the tree down there is no tree but they still say it and it's not like you have to you know cut it down right then it could be it could have been gone the whole time like you cut it down the day before and they're like hey stand under here and stay dry with me <laughs> you're like uh you okay there bud all right let's go ahead and grab these things for now and we're gonna do some farm cleanup so it's only 850 we'll just kind of do this until we run out of energy finally get that thing out of there after all this time I don't think I can bust those big fallen logs yet let's just double check in fact I think yeah you can actually right click on it to figure that out just a little tip there because I think if you swing and hit it and it doesn't work you use energy in the process it's not like they're like oh no that didn't work you can keep your energy pretty sure it uses energy and that's bad we might even make it to level 5 foraging today if this uh, gets us deep enough into the XP for that which would be kind of nice um, Foraging is one of those, the, the path that you choose for your perks, or your professions, I guess they're called, is one where I am very torn. The one path helps you in wood gathering, because it increases how much you get. The other path oh. all right let's just hit that guy and now we're gonna go to bed I'm not gonna swing one more time and risk going into the negatives oh I need to uh, you guys all go in there You can go in there and uh, you know what? Let's do let's do silver. Er. Why do I always say silver, guys? We're gonna do iron overnight. And then we'll start some copper in the morning. So yeah, level four, we can now make charcoal kilns. We can make summer wild seeds. We didn't get to level five, and we're not going to make a lot of money today. That's actually not bad for just some mushrooms and stuff. Thirteen of them gets me. So they sell for 40 a pop. That's pretty good, actually. They're still better to eat than to sell if you're, like, really breaking it down. But... <laughs> It's not a huge deal. All right, so we need to go pick up our watering can today. It's going to be sunny tomorrow. Uh, bad luck, and it's a rerun on Queen of Sauce. Stir fry. We already know how to make stir fry. So, you go like, yeah. We got lots of crops to harvest here. And I mean lots. So, the good news is we're now down to just those two columns, and I'm not even going to bother replanting anything in the middle. Do I need to save any of these? We're going to save one gold cauliflower. Man, I really wish that that wasn't a high-quality green bean, because I need to be saving those. We'll save one more potato. And we'll save... Now we have five cauliflower. I'm pretty sure that's probably good. So you go in there. I don't think I need any cash for anything today. So let's just grab those. We 
need to kill some time. The gold cauliflower that I kept is for the county fair in case I need a high quality vegetable. I feel like that's what I keep that for. <laughs> I honestly don't really remember why I'm keeping that. It I would that's a fall event, so I should have um I can donate that. I should have a star fruit by then, as well as what's the summer big crop? Why am I struggling to remember that? But anyway. That's kind of what I'm thinking there. Is I'll I might need it for a contest of some sort. I don't think I do. The more I think about it, but it's fine. Let's go grab these berries. I'm gonna end up with more salmon berries than I really need. That's okay though. Um, cause what I'll do with the extras probably at some point, or at least some of them, is use them to make wine. Not that it becomes, like, crazy valuable, but it's way more valuable than just the berry itself. So, what I'm doing right now is just killing some time before Clint is open. Willie wants seaweed. We'll try to remember to do that. Did I ever clear out? No, I did not. Let's go do this. If you have a little bit of extra time and energy on your first day... Well, that's weird. There's something there blocking me. I wonder if it's like a... Forgeable? Nope. That's kind of unusual. I don't know what it is. I tried to pick it up, tried to hit it with a scythe, a pickaxe, and an axe, and nothing happened. But there's definitely something there, and I don't remember that being like that. <clears throat> okay. Hey, man. Hey, what do you need? I need my, my watering can. I gotta water my crops. Thanks, buddy. Alright, so now all of our important tools <laughs> have been upgraded. Oh, wait. Didn't I have... No, I already dropped off the other stuff. I was like, wait, didn't I have more stuff to donate? No. Well, I did. I already donated it. So, I got a piece of iridium. I think we already have that thing. Come on. I think we already donated that thing, too. Ooh, marble. That's a good one. Um, even if we donated it, um, I do that so often. Hit that sign instead of... Uh, even if we already donated the marble, it's good because we will need it for crafting at some point. But now we've donated it, and any more that we get, we'll keep. So we got some more rewards here. We're going to get a piece of a uh, skeleton. And we got the singing stone, which is cool. That's one of the parts of our... Let's go say hi to Vincent. Hey, buddy. We kind of need to go mining, because um, we got to get deeper. We got to start getting gold and such. Well, not and such. We need to start getting gold. Wait, 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 wait. How's our uh, farming? We are still at just level four. Dang it. I was kind of hoping we would reach level five with the crops that we got today. Um, but obviously that did not happen. I want to be at level 6 before the end of the season, for sure. Because I really want 
quality sprinklers so that I don't even need this upgraded watering can very much other than the first day of a season. We have four iridium. We're kind of low on uh, copper bars, which is why I'm smelting those. Alright, now that we have that in there, go like that. What was that? Stone, maybe? I don't know. Go like that. Go like that. I'm going to sell that anchovy. You guys go in there. Oh, we need, a, we need to find an ancient flute or whatever artifact. And an ancient drum. Let's organize that for him. Alright, we gotta go. It's 1120. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go ahead and put away the things. Oh, wait. No. We gotta water crops, guys. And this is why I water or I planted the crops north and south because you can stand in one spot and easily hit three columns of three. And I'll demonstrate, if you go this way and try to do it, it won't, see how it wants to go that way? So then you'd have to move and go like that. So there's your lesson of the day in how to plant crops in Stardew Valley effectively. Once you get sprinklers, it doesn't matter quite as much, but it's still good for that first day of the season when you have to water crops because they aren't planted yet. And when you plant them fresh, you got to water them because the sprinkler won't water if there's nothing there that needs watered. You know what I mean? All right, let's just go do this real quick. Boom. Put that away. Start that, and let's go. When we get up there, I can already go ahead and pop into the Adventurer's Guild and sell that magnet ring. Might as well do that. Um, I'll probably forget otherwise. <laughs> Let's just grab this now, just in case for whatever reason I don't see it when I'm running home later in the dark. Hey man, I bought the tastiest paid potato from Pierre's shop the other day. That's not the voice I gave him. He said he grew the thing right in his own backyard. I didn't know Pierre was such a talented farmer. Looks like you might have some competition, huh? So Pierre is pawning off the crops that I sell him as if he is the one that grew them. Like, dude. Or maybe Linus is just assuming that Pierre grew them himself, which is kind of weird. Like, why would you assume that? I don't go to Walmart and assume that Walmart grew the crops that they, you know, or the bananas that they sell. I don't go to Walmart, period. I despise that place. So. All right. Let's get it. All right, there we go. Quickly find the ladder. So, objective for this mining expedition is, you know, just get down levels, collect silver and coal in the process. Oh my gosh. So, like, when I see these black bouncy dudes, I will kind of go out of my way to get them. Because that's where we're getting our, you know, the lion's share of our coal from. I hate ghosts. When you don't have a weapon that can kill them quickly, they are 
about as annoying as the bats that, or the the bugs, the little flying bugs that you encounter early on. You know what I'm saying? All right, go ahead and take the ladder. There should be coal at the bottom of this level, so we'll go ahead and work our way down there. Yep. So usually how you can tell that there's coal is there's like a trail you know, laid out on the uh, surface of the level. And that trail, you know, either once was a cart, you know, a minecart path or whatevs. But anyway, that's the indicator that if you just follow the path, it will lead to either a backpack. I could have gone all the way around there and worked my way to the center and gotten the crates, but I don't want to spend that much time. All right, we're going to just go like this. Look for anything. I'm not dealing with that ghost. So... We're going to go ahead and put all of that in there, except for the quartz, because I want it to focus on smelting iron for right now. Okay. Back to work. So we're at level 60. We're halfway through the frozen levels at this stage. Let's just go grab that real quick. Retaining soil, to me, is something... I will pretty much never use because if it's not like a hundred percent guaranteed to work every time then it's kind of silly because if it misses a spot I still have to go back and water and then like I'm watering patches instead of just watering like everywhere like I have to do without using retaining soil and it just seems counterproductive that's just my take on it so I wish it was like it works a hundred percent of the time but like the higher quality it is the longer it lasts like regular retaining soil lasts a week um, quality retaining soil lasts two weeks and then deluxe retaining soil lasts a season that I could see having more value know what I'm saying I think that makes sense all right let's just go over here I didn't see that slime I just want this oh kind of want that bat. And that's why I wanted those bat wings. Alright. We gotta eat a little bit. It's 8 o'clock, so we probably don't need too much more energy, but let's maybe we might be able to get to level 70. Might have to stay out a little bit late to do that, but I think it's worth it. Oh my gosh, I switched to the sword and it just didn't take. Lots of black bouncy dudes here. How about the ghost fish from the ghost? Not the most valuable, but... Ooh, diamond. I'll take it. Let's go ahead and... Oh, it's still smelting from last time. We got 10 coal on that, or, you know, little venture there. Not bad. 
Uh, we'll probably get a ladder from one of these guys. Nope. Maybe one of these guys. Hey, look, we got a uh, refined quartz from one of those crystals. That almost never happens. That's pretty darn rare right there. It's like 0.1%, I think. Mathematically. Like, almost every time you ever hit them, they just go away. Like that. And that. 950. Anything down here? I heard a bat. Maybe the bat will give us a ladder. Come on. Nope. Ten twenty. We're gonna have to get lucky if we make it down to level seventy at this point. I feel like because it's not going as quickly as I would have hoped. If we get to a level and there's already a ladder exposed, that would be clutch. Right now, this one is not going as hoped. We have to eat again before we even depart this level. Jeez. And it's already 11 o'clock. I'm pretty sure we should have leveled up a skill today, so I'm okay staying until after midnight. After midnight. But we need to get home in time to go to bed. Oh my gosh, what is going on here? There's only three stones left on the entire level. That was ridiculous. All right, somebody give me a ladder here. No. Are you kidding? Hey, where are you going? Oh, come on with this. You gotta be kidding me. This is frustrating. We're not going to make it. It's already 12.10. We'd have to get down three more levels. So I'm just going to come over here, grab this iron, and go. That was a bummer, but it's not the end of the world. All right, let's go like this. We'll go ahead and leave. Uh that so that that can continue to work we'll we'll leave that so we can sell it later all right what do we want to leave behind here i don't need sap slime let's bring that and there shouldn't be anything i need to pick up on the way home so let's just go ahead and bring everything else <clears throat> I could have left, like, those last two pieces of iron. I almost said silver oh, again. How are we doing on time? All right, we're at 39 minutes, and we're through our second day, so that's pretty good. We can make it three days without feeling like we're getting too lengthy with the uh, episode. So that's cool. Oh, go like this. Yes. Bam. Bam. Uh, Alright, we're going to move decorations out of here now. And we're going to move tools out of here now. Oh my gosh. So... Oh wait, we can go like this. Right there. Those can go in there. That can go in there. Right. All right, then decorations and tools can come in here. Yeah. 
That can go in there. Those can go in there. Uh, Alright, let's... That can come with me now. And go in there. We'll sell the ghost fish. Oh, I forgot to leave my sword up there, which means I could have brought home something and we'll just bring the sap. I'm feeling pretty sappy today. All right, let's go ahead and just grab these things for now. As well as... That's going to be a pretty decent amount of... I'll hang on to the ghost fish for right now. Who was it? Willie wants seaweed. Let's grab that as a reminder. And I think we're good to go here. We need to do something to start bringing in some money. I think tomorrow is going to be a fishing day. So, yeah, we made it level 3 combat and level 5 mining. Uh, I always go the miner route. More ore per vein allows us to gather more ore per vein. <laughs> so that's a good one. Yeah, we made three grand on crops alone. We didn't level up our farming, though. We gotta start making some progress there, guys. In weather, sunny tomorrow, sunny today... Bad luck day. Living off land says, ah, refreshing rain. A farmer's best friend. You don't have to water crops. Use this to your advantage. Well, that's kind of obvious there, living off the land guy. But, okay. Okay. I don't know if I watered the green bean starter yesterday. Not a huge deal, though. Um... We don't need that many green beans. I will need more than what I've got to finish recipes and such, but we'll plant more next spring and it'll all be good. That's assuming we play until next spring. Do I have enough? Hey, what is this little guy down here? Hey, little guy. I probably didn't water him either. I might have enough to water all these crops on one fill up. We're about to find out. So, and then with the rest of the day today, I think we go fishing. I need to get money so that I can buy barn, coop. How about that? We made it all the way on that one fill up. One fill up. So we can leave those. I'm going to bring the hoe just in case I happen to come across artifact spots. So we need to go see Clint, Willie, and then go fishing. And how are we doing for, like, okay, we got all the ocean fish we need. We got all the uh, river fish. No, we don't have the river fish we need, which is pretty much like sunfish and um, smallmouth bass. I know that there are salmon berries up there, but I don't need any more than what I have right now. So we're going to just ignore those. Oh, today is Pam's birthday, so we need to remember uh, to pop into the saloon later and get her a beer. I think we want to go here. kind of cast in that general direction. So basically, we're looking for um, I guess like probably three sunfish is fine. 
and three smallmouth bass is probably fine. Did we just level up our fishing? Feels like he cast that one farther than the one before. But whatever. <clears throat> I don't think we reached level 10 fishing yet. If we do... Where's my skills? We're at level 9. If we get to level 10 before our next rainy day, we can catch the legend in our first season. So that would be cool. That's a whole lot easier to do when you have the mod for the skipping the fishing minigame. A whole lot easier. Alright. There's my three sunfish. If we catch our two smallmouth bass, we can go on about our day. Two more. Come on. That be one? Nope. Neither of these fish are very valuable, so we want this to go as quickly as possible. Those are 65 energy? That's pretty good. That's the same as a chub. I don't think I ever realized that. I kind of thought that they were about the same energy as carp and sunfish and stuff. <clears throat> Come on. We're racking up on sunfish. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. How are we doing on bait? 101. Oh. Well. She startled me. I could really go for a cupcake right now. Well. Go, go swing by Gus's and see what he's got on the menu today. I did see... Um, so, Stardew Valley 1.6 is in the works. And <clears throat> most of the updates, from what I understand, are geared toward, like, mod integration. Uh, but one of the things that I saw, you know, alluded to is that... Oh my gosh, what is going on? Ten sunfish and two smallmouth bass. Eleven. This is ridiculous. Um, they're going to add more dialogue. So that's cool. Because it does get pretty monotonous with the dialogue. Eleven. Twelve. Let's just see how many of these we can catch without catching anything else. Ugh. This is absurd. Title of this episode is Sunfish Extravaganza. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, we got green algae. It's bad when you're like, hey, we caught green algae. Ay ay ay, what is happening here? I'm about to lose my mind. We should have been done with this hours ago. <sighs> this game is broken. Now we're catching nothing but green algae. I don't, I don't think I've ever experienced this issue before. Usually, it's the other way around, where I'm catching so many smallmouth bass and not sunfish. That's what's really remarkable to me. Alright, we need to go to Clint's and have him bust these geodes before he closes. Then we'll run down and see Willy. And I guess we'll just fish from the ocean to finish up the day, because... Actually, no, we won't. We'll go up to the mountain lake. I was going to say, it'll take me too long to get there, but it won't because I have mine carts, which I have totally been forgetting about. All right, we can drop that thing off to, to uh, Gunther here. Let's go ahead and do this. Shoop. Check those while we are thinking about it. Donate. There. 
And then we go real quick down to see Willy and give him the seaweed. Did we say hi to Sam earlier? Like scoop to vanilla. So he was talking about clouds there. So it's a cloudy day. Oh, cloudy day. Oh, the land of Not a big financial reward there with just 60 G, but it's the friendship points with Willie that we're after more than anything. All right, since we're down here, let's just real quick check for forage bowls again. Um, oh my gosh, pick it up. We're going to have to stop at the house and empty out our inventory. But, let's see if Pam's at the saloon first. Hey, everybody! Where's everyone going? We haven't really talked about how terrible of a... Uh-oh. Of a mayor Mayor Lewis is, but we'll get around to that at some point. Hey, welcome to Pierre. Sounds can I help you? <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so here comes Morris, who we haven't met yet. Come and get it, folks. Coupons are fifty percent off at Georgia Mart. What? Fifty percent? What? Well, any takers? I always give Morris that weird voice. And I don't really know why. I just... It just feels right. It just feels so right. And he's like... <laughs> it must be so difficult for you to lose your local customers like loyal, co loyal customers. But can you blame them? Georgia Corporation is clearly the superior choice. Soon the whole town will realize that. No. No, Morris. Not true. All right, so we're just coming to say hi to some folks, I guess. We're not going to get a ton accomplished today, unfortunately. Fishing was not nearly as profitable as I was kind of hoping that it would be. Um, where were we? Oh, we were coming to the saloon. Looking for Pam. She's not here yet, so she's going to be in her house. Did we say hi to a... Uh, there she comes, right there. Oh, wait coming to see Pam for her birthday and we're going to give her a beer. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Hey Pam, how's it going? Oh, is it my birthday? I guess it is. This is really nice of you. Thank you. Thank you. Did we say hi to... Yeah, we did say hi to Haley earlier. I could have given her that daffodil right there, but no big deal. Our friendship is blossoming without it. All right, so we got to put stuff away here. I actually don't have anything that needs to go in there. Those can go in there. Uh, green algae. That, that, that. That goes in there. And then let's go... All right, so, sell, sell. See you later, Coop. I'll be back in a bit. So we didn't grab these later, but we're going to grab them now because we're kind of coming up here anyway. Because we're going to take the mine carts to the mines. Actually, let's come in here before I forget and grab <coughs> those things. And then we're gonna just come out here and fish. If you cast there and kind of left, right in that neighborhood, I think will get you iridium fishes. We'll find out right here. Yep. 
So 620. We can fish until close to midnight. Hey, I can donate that thing. Set it aside there. I think we're actually good for now on iron bars. I mean, we'll need more eventually, but that's plenty for the uh, sprinklers that we need to build. I don't even know how many I'll build yet, but I can't imagine it would be more than about 10. Actually, it might be more than that. <clears throat> But we'll figure it out when we get there. That might have gone too far left. We're about... Oh, doesn't matter, because it's green algae. Oh, rats! We went into sluggish mode, and if we don't level up a skill, that's going to be bad news, because that will mean that we... Um, wake up with half energy. <clears throat> so, let's look at our uh, skills here. Hey, hey, we made it to level 10 fishing! Problem solved. That's what I'm talking about. So now, we know that we can stay up after midnight and just make it to bed before we pass out so we don't lose... $437. Is that too far left? Nope. That's good to know. Can pretty much go as far left as I want. And I'm not even talking about politics. Uh, there was a time on this channel where I would generally I would I would say that I'm going to avoid, you know, politics and taking sides or whatever and then immediately you know, sort of discuss politics. But I don't feel like I ever overdid that. In fact, we did a playthrough of a game called The Political Process at one point, and that's where you know, we had to choose between Republican and Democrat, and I chose I believe Democrat for the playthrough, and then, of course, throughout the playthrough, we kind of had to talk about political tendencies based on our party affiliation. But, let me try and avoid that stuff here on the channel, and just kind of enjoy the game. Leave the adulting stuff out of the conversation for the most part. Alright, we kind of need to organize our stuff here, I think, a little bit. Let's just get to that point right there. See, we did go and get some uh, gold quality fishes, so that's kind of a bummer. But it's not a big deal. And we went negative again. <laughs> it's okay, though. I need to make sure that if I run now, after having put my energy back into the positive, yeah, I can still go full speed. If you remain sluggish, you walk like super duper slow, and that's no bueno. Alright, I think we ate enough there to make it the rest of the way without having to eat any more. So we will just fish until about one and then run to the mine cart, get home, go to bed, and see how much money we make for the day. We only caught one largemouth bass with this trip, which is not the best. <clears throat> Did I sell off my remaining chubs? Ah, oh, that thing gets me so often, it's ridiculous. 
we're actually probably going to fish until we run out of energy again. We can only get two more casts. I'm not going to eat just to cast like one more time. So. It won't take me that long to get home thanks to the mine carts. There we go. Come on. Largemouth bass. And a treasure chest. With six diamonds. <laughs> I never get any luck. Did I get everything out of here? Yeah. So, bus stop. See, we left at 1. We're home by 110. Not bad. Boom. Boom. That's 20 of those. Start that. Do I need to save anything here? We'll save that. I uh, don't need... I don't need these chubs anymore. I do need one for the community center. So we'll just leave one extra in there. I know I could donate the gold, but I don't want to have to deal with having a second stack of them. Uh, I think that will do it. So... You guys go away... Sell, 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 sell. Organize. And now I need to organize myself. So, boom, 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 boom. Okay. That was a pretty good day. Okay, so level 10, you can do chance to find treasure doubled or fish worth 50% more. I'm going to do fish worth 50% more, and then eventually we will probably change and go pirate because treasure can get you rare items that can help you co complete your collections. But for right now, I want the money, honey. That wasn't even like a really good you know, group of fish that we just sold, and we still brought in 4,451 for the day so that's not bad but that will do it for this episode uh let's just look outside real quick to see if there's anything noteworthy going on there. strawberries no nope. not there yet um so that'll do it for this episode if you haven't done so already please be sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button comment below and we'll see y'all next time